What's good fam? Today I'm in Dar es Salaam and I'm gonna go and check out the market areas, one of the biggest markets here in Tanzania, Carrier Co Market. So to do that, I'm gonna get the local Dala Dala and that's the local transport buses here in Tanzania that the locals get around with and go down there and see what the vibes is like. Stay tuned to this space. <laughs> Unahitaji kwenda sokoni kari yako sokoni. Okay, so I've boarded the Dala Dala and this is what it looks like inside. Now in Tanzania, these buses are known as Dala Dala. They're very much affordable. You could pay anywhere between 500 to 800 Tanzanian shillings per journey. One of the things you do have to bear in mind though is that if you're getting on these buses it's good to get on them from the beginning of the journey so maybe if you could get on them from the bus stand you so you can get a seat because they really pack them tight man they really pack them tight sometimes you got so much people in there and the stand. okay guys after a bus ride i've arrived to carrier coal market safely now a brief history about this area here at carrier coal it was once a uh, village area and then it became a shamba or a farm and it was owned by the Sultan of Zanzibar in the 19th century. He then sold this area to a German during the German rule here by the name of Skula and in return he had this area as a farm as well until he sold it to the German administration around 1913. Now the German administration designated this area here of Carrier Coal for an African township. So here is where you would have find mainly the local people. That's where they, they had this segregation system the Germans used to do. They have an area where they will live and then they'll put the Africans in one certain section. So here you would have find many indigenous people living here, Carrier Coal. Now around in the 1970s, there was a whole remake of the place and it has a lot of blocks. One of the things you'll notice here, there's a lot of block buildings here and even the apartments it's block style so this is a vibe here it's the biggest and busiest market in tanzania and may i say possibly even east africa so we're gonna walk around i'm gonna do some shopping see what the vibe is like it's a sunny day so whatever i like i'm gonna see i'm gonna get it that's what i do and we'll just check out the vibe of this place so let's walk around and check out carrier call market carrier call Sokoni. So the place is really busy guys, really busy and one of the things you'll have to be on point for when you come here is to, you know, make sure you secure your things, zip your bag up and everything like that. You know, petty, petty things do happen but generally speaking, despite the chaotic vibe here, it's relatively a very um, safe place to come and do your shopping and really get a good feel of the local culture, the local vibe here in Carrier Co. So we're gonna just, this is a very big market and um, so we're by the roadside. So we're gonna go in the market in a minute, but I'm just gonna show you what it's like on the real streets here. It's all over Carrier Co. It's very busy from Sunday to Sunday. Very busy place. It's loud. And if you haven't experienced this vibe before, just take it easy. Pole pole ni njia. As they say in Kiswahili. Slowly, slowly is the way, and you'll be alright. So I did a video a long time ago. These are the, the buses here system the BRT transportation system really affordable and effective so I'm just gonna walk to the end of the street just to show you so all of these places you're seeing right now are actual business places selling books and different things like that clothing 
kitchen utensils, mobile and cell phones, all of that can be purchased here in Carrier Court. And generally speaking, it's things here are much more at an affordable price. And this is where a lot of the citizens of Tanzania, the working class people come and do their shopping. phone infix is a quite popular brand out here you can also get the samsung, the samsung galaxy phones all of that can be purchased down here in the carrier course of phone all right so let's check out more of this place see you on the next one all right guys so we moved away from the main road where we were that other side of the market and we're going into the interior now here you will find a lot of the local um, stalls and they're selling um, a lot of different things here like right now I can see bed sheets, pots and pans, sunglasses and different things like that so we're gonna walk in and let me show you what I'm seeing in front of me right now so these are definitely um, much more smaller businesses that we're seeing here individual businesses and you can see what I'm saying from pots and pans and different things like that all being sold you can literally get any mostly everything here in this market from fruits and vegetables suitcases bags man everything you can get here man once you know where to look you'll find it it's quite a big market we won't be able to do the entire market but I'm just giving you a vibe of the place I'm doing this out here by myself. It's not for the faint hearted. You know, quite busy, a lot of people, and if you're not used to this, it could be quite intimidating. But I'm doing this for you guys. You lot are getting exclusive here, man. You lot are getting the exclusive where a lot of YouTubers don't really go. So all on the streets here you'll see people selling fruits and vegetables from tomatoes, spring onions and different things like that. Wow. 
Yo fam, so let me know what you think about the market so far. Does it remind you of a market you've been to in your home country? Rate this market on a scale of 1 to 10. Would you come here by yourself in the market, strolling around and really getting a vibe with the local people here in Tanzania? So let's see what the vibe is like and let's, let's go buy some other stuff. I'm going to go get some other stuff now. Right now I'm going to purchase a few things and check the vibe out here in the market. Mambo vipi? Ah, bei ya biashara. Eh mimi yako okay sawa sawa. Naomba mwili. Mwili. Eh. Ah, ni tamu sana mwanangu. Ni tamu sana. Okay fam, your Kiswahili word for today or Swahili word for today is Soko. Now Soko in Swahili means market. So let's use that in a sentence. Leo tutakwenda Sokoni. Today we'll be going to the Sokoni or to the market. Now when you add the suffix ni on it, it means like inside. So we're going inside the market. Leo tutakwenda Sokoni. Or you can also say Leo tutakwenda Soko la Kariako. Today we are going to Kariako market. So that's your word for today guys. You already learned Kwenda which means to go. And when you put the prefix on it which is to, it means we are. So Leo tutakwenda Sokoni. Leo tutakwenda Soko la Kariako. So today we're going to Kario Market. So that's your word for today, family. Eh? Soko. Let me hear you say it. Leo Tutakwenda. Well done. All right, family. Right now I'm starving like Marvin. So I'm going to go get some grub at the Soko Kula Kisutu. We've done a vlog here before. And that's the Kisutu Indo Market. I'm going to really go local style and get some food there right here in Kisutu Market. So let's go in together. It's literally across the street and it's not too far away from Kariako Market. So if you ever come into Kariako, you could always visit the Indo Market at Kisutu. So I'm going to go in there and really see what the food is like and we'll do this together. Tupapa Moja. That means we're together. Let's go, fam. All right, fam. So I've ordered my food and this is what it looked like here at the Kisutu market you can see it here we have rice in Kiswahili is known as wali this is maharagwe which is beans and chicha which is you know green vegetables spinach and stuff like that and this right here is a sauce guys and also this here is fish in, in Kiswahili it's known as samaki so this is what you get for around 2,000 Tanzanian shillings here at Kisutu Market, guys. So definitely, um, when you're here, if you really want to sample it local style, come and check it out at this market here. So I'm gonna let you know how it tastes after I finish eat. Peace out. Yeah, fam, I ain't gonna lie to you. That food was banging, man. It was really tasty, delicious. I enjoyed every bit of it. So for 2,000 Tanzanian shillings, I got a bowl of rice, some beans, piece of fish, and a portion of um, salad, kind of spinach mixed with carrots and stuff like that. So it's been amazing, guys. So whenever you're in Tanzania, definitely come down 
and check out Kisutu Market. First floor, you go up there, real local style guys, you'll check, it, check them out. So it's been good, really tasty. The rice was nice. The flavor of the, um, with the um, salad was really nice as well. I enjoyed the beans. The fish was, it's fried fish basically. They could have put a bit more sauce in it, but nevertheless, I enjoyed it anyways for the, for the price and what it's worth. It's definitely worth it, man. So yeah, I'm gonna um, go and enjoy my, my, my mango now. I paid Miyatano for one mango in Karaoke Market. So that's 500 Tanzanian shillings. Definitely affordable. So when you're out here, definitely try the local food, support the local businesses, and try the local fruits. So I trust you enjoyed today's vlog and have a good one.